Hello, YouTubes. Welcome back to James Recommends. This week, we'll be talking about Capsule. I actually don't think Capsule's a good game. <laughs> when I feel that way, I'm just gonna start these things off by saying it, because there's a lot of things I recommend that I think are okay, but interesting, right? Capsule, not very good. But if you like retro future sci-fi, if you like things like uh, Memories of a Broken Dimension, this is something that you're going to want to check out because this game, especially for all you designers out there, has a lot of interesting ideas and most specifically, I haven't really talked about any games that deliver on their aesthetic, uh, visual aesthetic, their audio aesthetic, rather than simply on the mechanics or the narrative. And this is a game that I think with almost zero graphics just nails its visual aesthetic. So what's awesome about this game? This is a game where you're the pilot of basically a Martian rover, right? And you're driving around trying to get from outpost to outpost, relaying communication, exploring and discovering what's going on. And on the way, making sure that you have enough fuel and air to survive the trip. That's the fundamental game. But what's great about it is how well they deliver on this, right? Your screen looks like an old... Commodore 64 screen, right? Except more black and white. And graphics super low tech. You're kind of getting this top down view of your rover represented by a little dot, and most of the other things in the games represented either by squares or circles on a map with little labels under them. Uh, looks like 80s technology to the T. And it really gives you that feeling of being inside this vehicle, of, of driving this vehicle around. So they do an amazing job on that front, do a great job with things like screen flicker and all these other things to make it feel like this piece of technology that's barely holding together, the, the type of technology that got us to the moon in the first place, right? So they do a fantastic job on that. In terms of what's unique, again, it's this, this feel, this place that they create. Uh, they do so much to make sure that you really uh, feel this environment and even on the audio side, uh, they do so much with your character's breathing and this sort of thing that it has this claustrophobic atmosphere. And that's all great. Uh, as far as what's awful about this game, this game really just devolves down to a bunch of fetch quests. Honestly, that's all there is to the game. And there's a little bit of narrative to guide you through. It wasn't strong enough to really hold me. Uh, the fetch quests get harder and harder. The distances you have to go, go get longer and longer but there's not a lot of evolution there there's not a lot of change there's not a lot of depth to the mechanics and so really as far as gameplay goes i can't recommend it uh, but for any of you guys who are really interested in how to deliver on that feel of of retro future right that feel of 2001 or any other sci-fi with 80s technology this game just nails it and so it's an interesting example of those things. So this week, with plenty of caveats, including the one that this game isn't actually good, this week James recommends uh, Capsule. See you all next week.